I have no idea what that is. Oh, that sounded so sad. Indy's crying. Sorry, Indy. The boat is dead. Today is a super exciting day. We've been waiting weeks and weeks and weeks to make a start on this project. And finally, all of the parts are here. I think this install might be the single biggest change that we are making on Indy. So our lives are about to completely turn around and I cannot imagine. At the moment we live without a fridge, without a freezer. Um, every time we wanna do any work on the laptops, we have to run our diesel generator, which costs a lot. It's not great for the environment. We kind of hate it. And as of today, we're gonna get rid of that worry. So we're gonna take out all of our old AGM lead acid house batteries and we're gonna replace them with lithium. So they're gonna hold power for so much longer than the old ones did. And they're gonna let us use more of that power before they have to charge. And we're gonna hook them up to our new solar panels so that they're gonna charge from the power of the sun instead of all these horrible fossil fuels and yucky things. So I'm super duper excited and also a little bit terrified, but here we go. Do not try and go on the plane. We would sink our dinghy. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of stuff. We are gonna install this, gradually work out what we're doing as we go along. But we have six of these new lithium batteries. They're from Battleborn. We're not affiliated with them at all, but they just had the best option that we uh, that was gonna work for us. Absolutely. So we have 600 amp hour batteries. They're lithium, so they'll hold their charge longer. Uh, we can use more of the power available to us before we need to top them up again. They're more modern, they'll last longer. It just suits us and modernizes the boat a lot. With that Battleborn are convenient because they sell other stuff as well. So we got ourselves this big blue box, which is a, an inverter charger. Basically, for those of you who don't build boat electrical systems every day, this thing turns 12 volts, which is like a cigarette lighter for your car, into mains power, like you plug in the wall in your house. And for us, we're actually converting from American style power, 110 volt to 230 as well. So this takes 12 volts and turns it into 230 volts. We've got these as well. This is just a battery monitor. It measures the voltage coming out of the battery so that at any point we can see what power is available to us. This one to go alongside it is a little bit more user-friendly. It measures a lot more and has all of these calculations going. So not only do we know how much voltage we have coming out of the system, but we can tell where that power is coming from. And if we continue using this much power, this is how much time you have left before you're gonna run out. And then along the front, we're basically trying to protect all of this stuff. So, okay, we've got all the wires to connect our batteries up, but we also have things like a temperature monitor to make sure the batteries don't get too hot. We have two kind of cool protection devices over here. So this actually isolates the batteries and that guy is between the engines and the batteries. It kind of helps to protect them as well. And then tied to that are these three boxes. Effectively, it's a way to protect your engines or it's actually protecting your alternators, which is a thing that creates electricity from your engine. Hopefully, with things like this, we're going to save the boat from the new system and things like these guards, we're going to protect the system from the boat. So we now need to go and rip out all of the old batteries and systems and wires and everything and then systematically try and work out where all this fits and how it clicks together. Alrighty, let's do this. Oh, this feels weird. We haven't turned this stuff off in ages. Fans, lights. Do you need to wash anything? Water pumps? Oh, I need to pee. Okay, feeling relieved. But last thing to throw, our fresh water pump and our shower pump. So we we have no more, oh, that was scary. No more power on the boat. The boat is dead. It's off, off. All the AC power from our generator is already off. Oh, <laughs> we're not all the way off. This is the actual house bank. Quite crucial. Now we're off. So, I have no idea what that is. 
Oh, that sounded so sad. Indy's crying. Sorry, Indy. So now we did the fun bit. So these are the old batteries that are super disgusting. We just need to undo the straps here, take the terminals off, and then dewire these cables that come back to the bus bar. And we're basically just destroying and removing first up. I can do that. They said I could, but they're Velcro. <laughs> they're stuck. <laughs> Such an uncomfortable position to kneel in. <laughs> okay. We are de-strapped, and now you can do the really gungy bit with the uh, taking the terminals off. I'm not touching this. Gee, thanks. <laughs> okay, slimy bit. So I know for the record that some of you are watching this who know a lot more about this than we do, and you'll have lists of things that we're doing wrong, and this isn't an educational video. This is... Uh, Absolutely not. This is more of a, an adventure video. <laughs> like. Follow the mishaps of two stupid Scottish people trying things they shouldn't be trying. <laughs> That's us. For that reason, if there are things that you feel we should know, please, please do give us comments and let us know because we learn through those comments and it's really cool to get to know some of you guys. Okay, so I'm covered in slime. What's the next job? <laughs> now I'm going to demonstrate my superhuman strength. Well, let's show off the muscles first. Come on, show us the guns. Okay, now show us the guns. Look at that, the whole bit there. Oh. Now, Rick. <laughs> I can definitely lift these. I'm looking forward okay. to it. Come on, in. let's see what you got. Okay. Are you starting? Yep. When? I think they're glued to the floor. When do you plan to lift it? Not even kidding, glued to the floor. Right, you're done. I know, I'm not sure I can do it either. <laughs> okay. Oh, it was just genuinely heavy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Where should we put them? Think fast. <laughs> right there. Good idea. <sighs> the way it's built in the moment, we have these sort of these struts and these straps can lock in underneath them to hold the batteries in place when we're in big seas and things. But I read somewhere on Facebook that I can fit the batteries in pairs all the way down here uh, if I take out the middle ones. Does that base plate lift out or do we have to do it in place? It's in place. <laughs> okay, excellent. So we're just going to hit them really hard with a hammer. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. Okay, multi tool is. Okay, our battery bank is almost ready to go in. We've cleaned out all the old supports and we've dusted it all down from all the wood that we destroyed. <laughs> I just thought I'd take a second to explain why we're doing all this, because what's the big deal? Lithium sounds very futuristic, but there's a lot more to it. This is what we were using. These are old AGM batteries. It's just a, a chemical technology from car batteries, basically. The biggest downfall of these things, they weigh an absolute ton. And we don't get a lot of bang for our buck. The, the space that these things take up, the weight they add to the boat, they didn't give you a lot of electricity. They also have this slight limitation where this is a 210 amp hour battery. So it's a 200, okay? This technology, I can only use half of that. So this is only really a 100 amp hour battery that I can use. We're replacing it with one of these. These are lithium ion. They're way lighter and they are almost half the size. This is only 100 amp hours, but unlike the AGM, so I can only use 50%, I can use 80% of this. So this is actually 80 usable amp hours in half the size of 100 usable amp hours, and it's half the weight. So we have more of these, we have a total of 600 amp hours. We get 80% of that that we can use, and it's probably less than half the weight of these old batteries. So that's why we're doing this conversion in the first place. That's why it's all this hard work, that's why we're so excited, because we're going to get so much more electricity to run fridges, laptops, lights, everything. Whereas these old batteries are a bit short and uh, they just don't store any charge anymore. So what are you doing just now? So I'm just wiring in our solar to the bus bar. When we put the batteries in, which is the next step, the solar system, which comes through all of these boxes here, it effectively gets fed into the batteries and results in charging the batteries. So Ooh. we can like run our laptops off the sun. <gasps> yeah. So we're pretty much at the stage now to drop batteries in. 
So now we just have to see if the batteries actually fit. <laughs> I really hope they fit. When you measured them, they were how close? They were like within a couple of centimeters, weren't they? A couple of millimeters. Oh, that's fine. We can make millimeters work. Yeah, they'll squeeze down if they're too big. <laughs> this is the moment we drop all the batteries in. If they fit, we have a lithium boat. I know. We actually, okay. we're, we're this close. I'm probably genuinely <laughs> this close. Let's see. So this is the moment of truth to see if it fits. Yeah, this is going to be fine, right? Oh my goodness, that's so tight. Why are you so panicked about it? That's like the perfect thing. Oh my goodness. There's about one millimeter spare. If that. We don't even need to strap them down. I don't know if we do. <laughs> That's ridiculously perfect. Good job, Ledford. Love it when a plan comes together. Okay, next three. That's nuts. That looks so cool. Actually stupid. Although, you know what would look cooler? The word battle for the right right. We'd finished. It was done. I mean, you know, aesthetics. <laughs> I've spent ages making that loop. We're about to cover it up with a floor, you know that, right? Yeah, but I'd know. Priorities. So pretty. That is pretty, right? Okay, so the batteries are in. What the now? batteries are in. Now is the bit where I get worried I'm going to cook the batteries because we're wiring them up. I saw a diagram and I think I remember it correctly. We are going to do a string of all the positives in the batteries and then that's going to come off and go to the boat. Then we're going to do a string of negatives going the other direction. So we end up with 600 amperes, but at 12 volts. Well, that was exciting. Just a bit dramatic, yeah. I should have known better. I thought I could do it quickly enough and get away with it. Surprise, surprise, electronics are faster than me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, I'd forgotten that I was about to connect up the last of the um, positive terminals and that that would just deliver 600 amps straight through a cable and a big spark. So um, <laughs> having learnt my lesson, we've now pulled the fuse and I'm just going to triple check that our batteries, yes, they still work. That's good. Ooh, didn't fry them. Um, so we've pulled out this big fuse down here temporarily, and then we'll get it all wired. And then kind of like throwing the switch and Frankenstein comes to life. It's going to be a kind of thumb pop the fuse back in place and hope that it works. Sounds like a foolproof plan. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Whew. We have lithium! No fire! Nope, no fire! <laughs> Crazy! Can we uh, do it up? No, okay, come on, let's do it. Let's find out. Let's find out. Ah! Step by step. What did we do? Ooh, well, that looks up. That never lit up before. It's saying wee! Battery! Oh, he's gone bang and that light came on. <gasps> Whoa! We have never had it read that high on its own. Oh my goodness! That's crazy! We have power! Saloon lights. <sighs> Power and nothing's exploded yet. Fridge, does it dip? 13.4. 13. It's never been that high. I don't think I don't think the needle could actually go that far. Let's turn other stuff on. Turn the radio on. Let's get some music going. Turn the nav panel lights on just because I can. It's daylight. Ah! Turn all the lights on. Let's make it work. The fans on! Stop the fans, please! Come on. Woohoo! <laughs> it's a party! <laughs> We have power! I don't know what to do with myself. Do you want to microwave something or? Uh... I can charge my phone. It works! It works. So we got so excited about the lithium that we forgot to actually turn on the solar panels. So uh, we were just using up the power that the batteries came with, but hopefully we're now going to turn on the sun. Okay, another one of these. I hope there's no sparks. No sparks. I think we're working off the sun. Happy, happy? 
very happy. That was great. The, the guys here at Island Waterworld are so easy going. We walked in with a bunch of cable that they didn't sell us. All right. Do you mind if we chop this off and put some ends on it and use your tools while we're here? And yeah, sure. Oh, do you have a knife? Yeah, of course, here's a knife. <laughs> we have all of our power cable now to be able to put the inverter in, which means you can charge laptops and everything. Let's go do it. We've just finished ripping out the old battery chargers for the old AGMs. And then this one is kind of a two-in-one. So this is an inverter and a charger. For us, what this means is that we can plug laptops and things into our lithium. So we can take advantage of all the battery power that we've got. But the good news is, where the old battery charger lived, this fits almost perfectly in the same spot. And then we just wire it up and we'll see what happens. Cool. Oh, this is going to be a painful one. Maybe this will do. Can I just sit and hug it? Yeah, you can hug it. I'm not going to be I can do. <laughs> ah, you've heard of boat yoga. Ah, this is boat, ah, boat weight lifting. Oh, that's heavy. It's not on yet. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's on something. It's not really going anywhere. It's, it's on the wall. It's as simple as that. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Screws in the bottom. It's on, I think. And it is done. That was a mission. Laptops are charging and there's not sound. Infinite power. All part and parcel of the whole genie gig. Phenomenal cosmic power. You're loving life right now? Oh, I am loving life. You'll have heard the term boat yoga. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, the cheeks laugh at me for falling in the bilge. I didn't fall in. You will. 